Hello again, everybody. Whew, I'm in a rush today. I have to go to my martial arts class in about an hour, but I thought I'd try to get some uh, drone practice in. So I figured I'd do some a little bit of flying, and then do my loop and get to the uh, class. Although the traffic might be horrible today since, yeah, as you guys know, it is a lot of snow here. I think today I should be able to get um, some interesting snow footages. Yesterday it was actually okay. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I felt that a lot of the footage, it actually looked really great. I don't know if that's because the camera sensor was just like getting confused, just because it was uh, foggy with all the white snow and so forth. So maybe today we'll get some uh, more interesting shots, but I thought it was a really good test to see how well the drone handles in the uh, snow. Uh, let's see, today is the Super Bowl, but I probably won't be watching it because, hey, I'm gonna be in my uh, martial art class. And uh, let's see, I was actually looking at my uh, Nintendo Switch pre-order and I just wanted to make sure everything was still set since it's basically coming out soon. And when I looked at the Best Buy site, like I was like, where's my pre-order? What's going on here? I searched the order number and everything and it wasn't there. But if you look at the email, they keep sending me, like saying, yes, we know you pre-ordered this, so it'll come out at this time. Like it's very a generic robot message to everybody, I guess. But you know, things like this is why I pre-ordered in multiple places because I don't know who's going to screw up what. Like if I go to Amazon, it actually shows like in the order, whereas in the Best Buy site it doesn't. But then I'm reading some news where apparently like places like in the US like Target are canceling their Switch pre-orders. Well, obviously this is the reason why I pre-order in so many places usually. Just in case one place messes up the inventory for whatever reason. It's kind of like the Mavic Pros actually I was reading on the uh, some various sites before where they pre-ordered in so many large retail box stores but they still haven't got it yet. Gotta cover your grounds I guess, huh? I was actually trying to find updates for that uh, Zelda Special Edition pre-order and for some reason it looked like I was looking at all the sites and they all say sold out. I'm like, sold out? How's that possible? I even looked all day basically seeing when it comes out and it hasn't even alerted me. So maybe they just placed it up as a place order like they didn't even get up the, uh, the actual product yet but oh, that's too bad I missed it. Or supposedly I missed it. I think it was like, what was it, $139 or something like that? A lot of money for a special edition. That's one of those collectibles though. But either way, I pre-ordered the, the game itself anyway, so worst comes to worst is all about playing the game anyways. Oh, look at that, a snowman on the trail. to spend some time on that too it looks like <laughs> all right here we are let's get some uh quick flight in Quick flight, I uh, got some uh, okay footages I thought, really good view of the uh, mountain area and stuff like that from where I was. One thing that was interesting was uh, I tried to do the manual white balancing today and I kind of psyched myself out. Um, I assumed like it should be in the cloudy setting but when I first put it in the cloudy I'm like, 
why is it kind of so yellow? So then I switched it to the, uh, the sunny mode, but I was like, okay, now that's too white. So I basically left it on the cloudy, and as I flew up, it actually, to me, it looked better in the uh, cloudy. It makes me wonder, uh, yesterday, if I accidentally set it on sunny, maybe that's why everything looked too white. Well, live and learn. Oh, the traffic's probably gonna be bad with the snow. But onwards we go. Oh, looks like we have another snowman. I don't know why that one reminds me of Tingle from Zelda. Oh, thinking of too much Nintendo Switch, I guess. Oh, boom, just like that, the weather changes. Man, look at the snow now. Holy smokes, I almost want to try flying my uh, drone again just to test the white balance. Man, first things first though, gotta do my uh, martial arts. I think the light will probably be dead though by the time I finish. Oh. Where are all those people that said it never snows in Vancouver? <laughs> I'd like to see them now. You gotta do what you gotta do to practice. Weather shouldn't stop you. I'm no monk, but you gotta get your practice in every day. Doesn't matter if it's just a little bit, it's all about the consistency. All right, you're right with snow all over myself. And here we are. <sighs> And there we are. Yes, he is. Uh, oh. finally made it. Yes, we did. <laughs> and they already started, so let's get this going afterwards. My Sifu is calling my my Sifu is calling my drone a toy, people. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are so toys. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're we're gonna let him try flying it for a little bit, okay? <laughs> oh my. What do you think of the drone so far? <laughs> what do you think? No, these are toys. <laughs> it's a toy. It's a toy. Yeah. He toys. doubted you doubted me that I could fly on top of the uh, car and stuff, right? But uh, you can. But uh, in my mind, it's just only toys. <laughs> That's all it. Oh my goodness. You you know toys? No. It's a camera. It's a. I was trying to explain it where he was thinking something like the DJI Inspire 1 is a real drone. He thinks this is a toy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to explain this is kind of like a DSLR, I would say, in terms of a quality. Oh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> a toy. I don't know, would I consider that drone a toy? I consider it just like a camera, like I said. I consider it more like a DSL quality, I guess, like with the Mavic Pro. Oh, anyways. Uh, time to get back home, catch up with some stuff, and do the editing. You guys can see how the uh, video was like. Alright, see you guys later.